In this lesson, we're going to look at a few application problems involving subtracting integers. So the first example here says, if a submarine is at a depth of 435 feet below sea level, and it descends another 232 feet, what is its new depth? So 435 feet below sea level is, of course, indicated by a negative 435. Then the word descend of course means go down, right, or take away um, more, and so we're going to be taking away 232 more feet. And so this is just a subtraction of integers problem, and we understand that we need to turn our subtraction sign into adding the opposite. So negative 435, my minus becomes plus and the number here becomes its opposite, so it's the same as plus negative 232. So now, of course, they have the same sign, so we're going to add these two together. 5 plus 2 is 7, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 2 is 6. So we have negative 667 feet. Uh, now, in a, an example like this, I think it's nice to put the negative in context. So rather than giving our answer as negative 667 feet, I think it would be nice to say this. The answer is 667 feet below sea level. It would still be correct to have negative 667 feet. It's not incorrect. But make sure you say either one or the other. What would be incorrect would be to say negative 667 feet below sea level. That would be incorrect because you'd be saying a double negative there. We don't want to do that. So either negative 667 feet or what I think is better, 667 feet below sea level. In this example down here, it says, in the Sahara Desert, one day it was 136 degrees Fahrenheit. In the Gobi Desert, a temperature of negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded. What is the difference between these two extreme temperatures? Okay, so they're asking for the difference, so that indicates subtraction. And so we are taking 136 minus, but we're taking minus, negative 50 right, to find the difference. And so we've got 136 and then minus a negative of course turns into plus a positive. So it's 136 plus 50 and so what do we got here? 8. So 186 degrees Fahrenheit is the difference. Now sometimes this throws people off. Uh, it kind of bugs people that it asks for a difference and then you end up adding. That kind of bugs people a little bit. Um, so I think this is a, can be helpful. So think of think of a thermometer and we'll just uh, you know here's our we'll just make a pretend thermometer here. Think of the old the old mercury thermometers okay and I know mercury thermometers don't uh, you know the ones you have at home to see if your kid has a fever they don't have a really wide range but just bear with me here so suppose right here is zero degrees Fahrenheit and way up here is 136 degrees Fahrenheit and then down here is 50 degrees Fahrenheit or sorry, negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Oops, didn't leave room for my negative. Negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And so uh, the way to understand what the difference is is just think about, you know, how, how far is it from one to the other? And I think when you look at it like this, it makes a lot more sense that we end up adding because you'd have to go 136 to get down to zero, but then you'd have to go another 50 so it kind of makes sense that this subtraction problem ends up kind of turning into a, an addition problem. 